Hi everyone, so this is a tutorial on how to use VPN to connect to HKTV and watch HKTV shows. So uh, I was actually kind of struggling of whether I should make this tutorial or not because I already made a Cantonese version and a Mandarin version. But just in case if there is, because my Mandarin was not that great, right? So in case you're living in, let's say some Southeast Asia, Asia country and you know, you're, you prefer listening to English or if you're like maybe ABC or CBC or you know you live you're a Chinese living in foreign countries and you prefer English here it is there's a tutorial actually I was also thinking like usually people like you are probably going to be more techy and can do all this work alone but you know may as well right I made a Cantonese version and Mandarin version already may as well make one for English so anyway let's start so this one uh, I'm going to show you how to use VPN on an Android device to connect to a VPN to watch HKTV show. So in here, I'm us using a Xiaomi, you know, Xiaomi, Xiaomi TV box. Okay, if you have your own Android TV box, you can follow some very similar steps. If you're using a cell phone or tablet, your steps are even easier. So the only difference between a Xiaomi or if you're using cell phone or tablet is in Xiaomi, there is, we have applications, right? So for Xiaomi, you would need to, of course, you have to install this HKTV APK, which you can get from the HKTV homepage, www.hktvmall.com. You can download the APK and install it on your Android devices. doesn't matter if it's cell phone or tablet or your TV box, whatever. Okay. And we need, once you have this, you also need to be able to set up the VPN, right? In the Android setting. But in Xiaomi, there is no such setting. You cannot just access it directly. So I need this thing called the Shafa Guan Jia. It's, I forgot what the web page is called. It's like Shafa some, some, some crap. So <laughs> Google it and you can find it and download it. And from there, you can actually access the Android setting. If you're using a cell phone or a tablet, then you don't care. You just have to go to the system setting and you can get it. Okay, so aside from getting these things, you would also, of course, need to subscribe to a VPN. So... For me, I'm using a service called Pure VPN, which I kind of tried it. It has a lot of uh, server locations. So it has server in Hong Kong, which means you can access Hong Kong stuff like HKTV or TVB, like my TV, if you care. I personally don't. I really hate them now, even though I watched them as a kid. Uh, they have servers in China, which means you can access Youku or Tudo or any like Chinese websites that have content that are blocked. So they also have a server in US, which means you can watch Netflix, Hulu, those kind of thing. They have services in UK, which means you can connect to like ITV or BBC to watch like football, if you care. I mean like those football, soccer, football, okay? I call soccer football. Okay, soccer is very American thing. Okay, I'm a football, foot and ball, right? Anyway, so I use Pure VPN. They have lots of server locations. Their price is very, very competitive. If you buy it, subscribe to the service for a year, it's only like about $4 US per month if you buy subscribe a year. If you subscribe monthly, monthly, it's gonna be more expensive. But if you just buy a year, that's it. It's like four bucks per, per month. Very, very affordable. And from the test I've been doing over the past few days, it seems like quite stable i haven't really had a problem connecting to the vpn and the speed is quite reasonable so i'm currently in my in-laws house and they're using an adsl service which ADSL is a bit more stable at home i use cable which kind of which which the speed was not that great but here the streaming of such was, was actually quite smooth when i tried it so anyway currently my xiaomi box has no vpn set up if i go to hktv app now i want to watch the show you will see, it will try to load and load and load and do a lot of stuff, load and load, and then they end up there with black screen, which sucks. So what you need to is a VPN, well, you need to connect to a VPN server. So I'm gonna go into my Safa Guanjia, Safa Gunga. And under applications, I go to the setting. So if you are using a cell phone or a tablet, you can access the setting right away, like from the system menu. And the menu looks exactly the same. So here, you have to go down like to the more 
here is a Chinese menu, so I can't help it because it is a Xiaomi box, right? So you go there, and you will find. Sometimes, depending on your device, you might have more options, but there must be one called VPN, okay? So when you click on it, you ask for a password. So if you already set up a password for your Android device, then it will ask you for the password or the PIN, okay? If you haven't set up one up, then it will tell you that, hey, you know, VPN services require you to set up a password, which is retarded for, the, they have to force it, but that's kind of like a security thing they do. So you just have to set one up and follow the steps and set one up. So in this case, for my device, I set one up already, so I just have to enter it. This is not my VPN password, so use it, it's not gonna connect to my VPN, okay? <laughs> this is my Android password. So I'll enter the password again, and then I'll get to this page now, this VPN page, which has nothing on it because I haven't added a VPN yet. So you have to just go to the top right corner. There's a plus sign, right? You click it. And then it will ask you that you can now add a VPN. So you ask for the VPN name. So you can call it anything you want. Call it something that you will remember. So I'll call this VPN HK. Okay. And then uh, for the type, leave it as PPTP. This is a connection type. Okay. So don't muck with this. All VPN services should support PPTP. So don't muck with it. Okay. So, when you subscribe to a VPN, you get three pieces of information, okay? You get your username and password, obviously. And aside from that, you also, you need to find out the server addresses. A v VPN service provider usually has a lot of server, okay? So you have to find, in this case, you need to find the Hong Kong server, the address of it, and then you can put it in here. Okay, so for peer VPN, the address is HK, dot point to server dot com and then you just say okay so the address and there's a PPP encryption whatever crap just disable it don't bother with it you're just trying to watch shows okay save it and now, you can see, we added a VPN connection. So now, I'll click on this connection and try to connect. And now it prompts for your username and password. So you should you receive an email from your, PAP, uh, your VPN service provider, then enter it. So in this case, I'm gonna enter it, but I'm not gonna let you see it because I paid for it. <laughs> so, Oh, by the way, um, for you, you, you really have to. So for me, another thing I like about Pure VPN is it allows five device simultaneous login. So I can basically use this VPN for five devices. So if I have like, if I have a computer, a TV box, and a cell phone, I'm all good, right? If somehow I want to share this connection with, with with people I know, like my relatives, like my mom or my in-laws or my like my brother-in-law, whatever, I can just let them use it, and I pay for it, so they're happy. Or so, as I said, if you subscribe to a VPN connection, it's about four bucks per month. If you have four friends, it's only one buck per month. Isn't it great? So enter your username and password. So that's what I'm doing. I'm entering the password now. So this is another thing I like on um, Pure VPN. If, some, if this is something you care about, when you shop around for VPN, you better pay attention to it. So, I'm done. So here you go. We have the user and password, and you can take the, save the user information. And then connect. And then you will take no time and VPN is connected. Awesome, awesome. This is great. Go back, go back, and I can launch my HKTV app here, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna go back to my lovely Xiaomi menu. Now I play HKTV.
就係、是、一年前嗰、那個。點解？點解好似一啲都唔緊張 ？Awesome！ 咁緊張又唔係得一種表達方式。So, uh, if you care, 有消息通知我。If you care about this, um, when I run the speed test on my uh Xiaomi box, so now it's a bit uh laggy. About like half an hour ago, it was a lot smoother, right? But anyway, the speed was only about like three megabit per second. So if you have a fast connection, which is better, and, it's, and I found that on computer, the connection is much faster than on the Android box. Okay, so uh, it's decent, it's okay. So now I think it might be slower because more people connect to it in Hong Kong now. So the HTTP server is a bit more busy. But I think on computer it would be faster. Anyways, so. That's that. Okay, so enjoy. I'm gonna have another video talking about how to set up a VPN, so you can look at that. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.